see. In this card, judgment. Them bones right there. Like the people. Some people rose and some didn't. These two skeletons. Them skeletons down there did not raise. Just the ones that's up there that's risen. But everybody that was in them caskets did not get a second chance. So... It's letting me know, oh, or it could be saying because she didn't get a second chance with this Ten of Cups in the present, she's being ignorant because she's heartbroken. Because this Ten of Cups clarified the, um, the Three of Swords clarified this heartbreak. Um, let me see. Clarified position of authority. Why is this here? Why is this position of authority here? What is this telling me about the karmic? What is this telling me about the karmic? What is this? What is this about? I'm going to take these two right here. Okay, so when chimes came out, peace and harmony. And Tiger doing something risky, taking a chance. So this could be telling me that the karmic did something risky to get back her peace and harmony. Because I said she was in five cups when the universe intervened and possibly split her and split her and the divine masculine up. That was the universe in intervening. That was divine intervention. She did not want to deal with her old wounds. She did not want to go through the healing process. So instead of her dealing with these old wounds and facing it, she went and offered him a cup. So this could be telling me she was doing something risky to regain her peace and harmony. Or this is telling me... Um. She, this could be the divine masculine and the divine feminine, or this is just the divine masculine by himself. And because the universe separated him from her, he could have been getting his peace and harmony back. Because I said she, she, she's the one that had this, the, the divine masculine like this, trials and tribulations and this eight of swords. So when the universe probably separated them, he was getting his peace and harmony back. And she could have done, did something risky by traveling to him, trying to get him back. And interrupted his peace and harmony. Peace and harmony doing something risky. Position of authority though. She is probably telling me she, she probably wanted to marry him. So that's, yeah, she probably wanted this position of authority. Because, see, yeah, she wanted, she wanted this position of authority. But because this, um, this chair is empty. So it's letting me know she wanted this position of authority. She wanted this throne. So when the universe split them up, she did something risky. But her risky behavior, it like, she wanted peace and harmony. Or her risky behavior interrupted the divine masculine peace of harmony. And possibly the divine masculine and divine feminine peace of harmony. That's why it's showing me concerning her getting a second chance. She was ignorant to the fact that she was not going to get a second chance. She wanted a second chance concerning this ten of cups. Whether she wanted him back or not. She wanted this Ten of Cups, but heartbreak, Three of Swords. Um, when I asked for more, hmm, 34 minutes, when I asked for more information about Throne, this Ace of Swords came out. Ace of Swords and the Hermit.
Um, the Ace of Swords is breakthrough in awareness. Breakthrough in awareness. The Hermit is soul searching. So this could be telling me because this this two of wands in reverse can mean many things, but because I'm doing this reading for the karmic, this is the karmic's energy. I'm going to say this is ignorance. The two of swords in reverse. Because of her ignorance, she probably did not do this. She probably did not do this. Because this is like the universe telling her to like go within, do some soul searching. If you want the truth, this Ace of Swords, this is saying what she's not. So it's telling me she is not getting a breakthrough and she's not aware. This is telling me what she's not getting, what she's not doing because she's two of wands in reverse. She's not soul searching. So this is not going on for her. That's why she's ignorant to probably why she hasn't obtained this position of authority. She's ignorant to the fact she don't she probably don't know why she's she didn't get this position of authority. And it's just telling us in the cards it's because she's ignorant to certain things and she's not going to get this. Like this is truth and this is soul searching. Cause that's just like this the car is telling her the truth is you need to go soul search. That's what the car is saying. But it's telling her you being ignorant. She's ignorant concerning this position of authority. And she really don't know how to obtain this position of authority. And if she was married to divine masculine, she don't even know how to keep him. She she don't know because it's telling me she ignorant. That's why she three swords. Not saying she dumb or stupid. I'm not saying that. It's just concerning the 5D, the spiritual realm. She's ignorant concerning that. Yeah. So these cards is telling her the truth is the breakthrough and the awareness is in you soul searching. Hermit mode. Leave the divine masculine alone. Solitude. The answers is within. You, if you think about it, Carmen, go within. You know, you know that you don't want to deal with these old wounds. But you have to. And your old wounds has, has nothing to do with the divine masculine. The karmic old wounds not got nothing to do with the divine masculine. Nothing. So that's what's going on with the karmic. And I'm going to leave it at that. I think this is one video. So I'm going to end it before I end up two videos. Um, This is Blood Queen's Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. And thank you.